Leaders from around the world are reacting to the latest attack in the Middle East. Israeli drones seem to have targeted a military base in central Iran. This comes just days after Iran attacked Israel, also in retaliation for another strike. CBS's Jared Hill has the latest from New York. Two U.S. officials have confirmed an Israeli missile did hit Iran overnight. Iran state media said that an air base was struck. During a G7 press conference this morning, Italy's foreign minister told reporters that the U.S. was notified about the attack at the last minute. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, though, still tight-lipped. I'm not going to speak to that except to say that the United States has not been involved in any offensive operations. Uh, what we're focused on is our work to de-escalate. Uh, tensions. Now, this comes less than a week after Iran's unprecedented retaliatory drone strike and missile attack on Israel. A member of Netanyahu's party signaled that this was a sign that Israel can strike back. While this part of Iran is home to some of Iran's nuclear facilities, the International Atomic Energy Agency says the country's nuclear program was not damaged. Iran, though, is really working to downplay this strike, at least publicly. And experts say there may be a strategy behind that. That seems to indicate that Iran is seeking to step down off the ledge, minimize uh, the uh, impact of the attack, uh, and perhaps walk back down the escal escalation ladder from here. What's not clear is whether Israel will act any further or if this apparent signal was enough. The White House has been working to squash this back and forth for some time. Reporting in New York, Jared Hill, CBS News.